Yeah, I don't think so. We used to be superior, but now we're the last on the totem pole because we've lost our will. We've lost our way. So I ain't trying to hear that. Oh, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this crazy world with your host, Khadid. I just want to make a few comments. Um, I hear a lot of people out here talking about we should boycott Juneteenth Day or Juneteenth Day ain't worth celebrating or, and all these kind of dynamics, okay? And I just want to say something to black people because we, we, we have a habit of cutting off our nose to spite our face, right? Um, and we have a habit of being so butthurt about um, things that are really true about us. Most of us cannot take a question and going down two or three questions deep. We'll be ready to fight. and um, Or we can't stand to be questioned because we find, find that disrespectful. And then we want to fight about that. Um, and then we don't have any kind of etiquette or protocol when somebody disagree with us. Now, tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. If you want to be honest, you tell the truth about it. So when people tell me about this Juneteenth day, let me say this. Y'all know damn well Juneteenth don't us uh, making it a national holiday don't replace a uh, voting form reform. It don't replace a uh, a uh, 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 qualified immunity um, or redirecting some of the funds for the police. They, they, they don't have anything to do with one or the other. You have to still stay diligent. About either one, you got to learn how to compartmentalize while you accept that as a holiday because they always throw a distraction. We've been celebrating Juneteenth Day. I know we've been celebrating it in Milwaukee for the last, woo, I don't even tell, 50 years. So we don't need somebody to, um, the outer, the larger society to tell us that. But now, if they want to do that, that's fine. And we can take another national holiday and have some acknowledgement. But in my opinion, we should respect the day. Because look at the people in Galveston, Texas. Don't just dishonor your uh, ancestors. The ones that continue to work. And even though they didn't believe the black man, of course they didn't believe the black man telling them they was free. Because they were slaves. I heard that crazy shit Joe Brown said. But that's stupid, in my opinion. Because why would they believe another black man? And of course they would believe the white man when he come along and tell them they're free. Just don't be ridiculous. We were slaves. See, you can't make your mind back to even think. Of, you're still a slave today. But you can't get your mind to even wrap around chattel slavery. Talking about why didn't he believe? Why didn't they believe the black man? You think they won't get their asses killed for him? Talking about we free? Then ain't no white man said it? Y'all, y'all niggas must be out of y'all minds. So with that being said, celebrate your and your and ancestors. Celebrate Juneteenth. Also add a component to that that you want to celebrate information. Don't just let it be a barbecue drinking holiday. Let it be a day as a community that we celebrate education. That's why journalism is important. That's why the call to communicate is important with one another. That's why information is so important. Knowledge is important. Without knowledge, the people will perish. So if you want to talk about something, don't sit back and talk about how stupid it is to honor your ancestors in Juneteenth. And, but, so these white folks that made it a holiday, okay, yeah, that's great. That's great. We've been celebrating. It's been a holiday for us. Let's just keep our hands on the plow and our eyes on the prize when it comes to it's got that don't replace police reform. That don't place our um uh, uh people trying to take away our right to vote. That have got nothing to do with it. And while we celebrate one or acknowledge one, because we've been celebrating it, what's the big deal? Come on now. Don't cut off your nose to spite your face. 
And everybody that got a title in front of their name don't mean they know every damn thing. You know some shit too. Believe yourself. All right, I'm going to see you in the next video. I know I done got a little carried away now, but I'll see you in the next video.